Hey, what's up guys? It's me, it's Mark, Play Modern, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the new map types in Civilization 6 from the June 2019 update. And that is going to be the map types Seven Seas and Small Continents. We're going to start off with Seven T, Seven Seas, and yeah, take a look at how it looks like. All right. And to be very quick about it, we're just going to go to Toggle Map Observer from my little cheat panel up there. So this is Seven Seas. Pretty much what you should be expecting. And my honest opinion is it is garbage. It's pretty much inland seas except a lot of inland seas. If you had the hope, the anticipation to be having a lot of canals in this type of map, too bad. Because if you just look here, not a lot of canal opportunities. If I'm France and I settle on this coast, cool, I get to make a navy here, but then they're stuck. There's nowhere for that navy to go. I have no canal opportunities. Oh yeah, let me just put a canal right here for this one lake. Yeah, brilliant. There's nowhere, you know to build. Maybe if I wait very, very, very late game, I can have global warming, melt these ice, I can put a canal city here, excellent. Then I can put another one here, okay. One other city here, and then I can do the Panama Canal, excellent. And that will expose me to this sea, which leads nowhere. Yeah, you see what I'm getting at? You were, well, rather, I was hoping to have a type of map that will lead to... You know, a lot of canals that will link up the world, but that's just not the case. You're just going to have a lot of canals that lead to smaller inland seas, and that's it. Maybe it's my fault for expecting inland seas to be, you know, oceans, you know, a lot of oceans, not like this. I was expecting it to be like one main ocean and a ton of inland seas, and you can kind of link up the seas to the ocean. The ocean that can circumnavigate the world, but no. You just get the, all these small little seas. Now, the reason why I thought well, it was going to be, you know, a canal central where you can link up the world is because that's kind of what the devs said it was going to be, you know? But if you look here, not a lot of canal opportunities. If you go south or north, everything is either blocked by snow or by the ice, so you really can't work through it. And if you look towards the Midlands, yeah, you have some nice seas, but you can't really connect them. Because the continents are just too wide. There's really not a lot of narrow points. The only way you would be able to link up some of these seas is through the Panama Canal. But you only get one. So, hey, better use it wisely. And that's it. So, if you want to be playing a game where you have a navy, meh. You're going to lose that value on the navy very quickly because if i'm france and i build a navy here i already gave the example there's nowhere for it to go and i like playing you know with the navy so yeah this isn't my type of map now let's just take a look at this map type in huge and you're just gonna see it's just more of the same all right here we are on a huge map with seven seas selected and you can see it's still kind of more of the same I will admit, it is a bit better than the last, because you could make a city here, maybe a canal city here, but uh-oh, if Spain plops down Madrid here, you can't put a canal city here. You can't even make a canal because it's hilly, so yeah, that sucks. Yeah, it's just more of the same. Yeah, you have this nice big sea, but it doesn't go around the world. This is nice, this big sea, but again, you're kind of stuck. Maybe you put a city here. Probably not, because you're going to put it next to the river. Maybe put a canal there. Alright. But here's the thing. It's always stuck. You can never go around the world. And that's the sad part. You want to go around the world. So they really should have made it so... The continents were just a bit narrower. Because even if you have a navy here and it goes this part of the world, it's going to be a hassle, like... Because it can't circumnavigate, it has to constantly be going back and forward. It's just not what I was anticipating. 
It's like a very Pangea-like map. And then, of course, you have these seas to the south, which have no connection to this big sea to the north. So, yeah, it's just more of the same. It's just a bunch of isolated seas, which makes the naval game very weak. And it makes even the canal game pointless. You're not going to be able to get a lot of canals through. So, yeah. Seven seas, not what I was expecting. However, there is a saving grace. And it is called Small Continents. Alright, I'm back. And so, this is a small map with small content selected. And you can see, much better. If you want the naval game, this is the map you want to select. Nice. Everything's connected, a lot of nice opportunities, even some canal opportunities. This is fun, you know? Here, you can work with something. Again, it just depends on the way you want to play the game. But if you want navies to be relevant, Small Continent is the way to go. And I personally like the colonization game of Civilization. So, Small Continent is great because you're going to be left with a lot of these small islands that are, you know, uninhabited. So, hey, hey, they're yours for the taking. So, that I like. The one downside to small continents, though, is sometimes civs are going to be on their own continent all by themselves. And that kind of sucks. Like here, for example, we have Sweden. Sweden, all they're going to do is just keep settling. Build, 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 build. And they're going to take all the wonders. They're going to get all the science and all the culture. So if you're playing on a high difficulty like Immortal or Deity, it's not going to be very fun to just have this isolationist civ just boosting its way through the tech and civics tree. So that's the one downside to small continents. Of course, all it means is you're going to have to attack them. But yeah, that could be annoying. A good solution would simply be to increase the amount of civs in a game. And hopefully, no civ is left by themselves on a continent. Honestly, I would prefer if there's at least three civs per continent. That way you have some dynamics going on on a continent, instead of it just being a head-to-head. -head. But yeah, besides that, it's pretty, pretty good. You can see here, good canal opportunities. This is the type of map you want if you want canals. Not as, you know, vital, because most of these continents can simply be circumnavigated. But yeah, there are some cool opportunities, like here you can put a canal through this continent. Here, you can do another canal. Actually, here a canal is necessary. It's mandatory. Now, Sweden puts a city here. You can make a canal there. Boom. Crucial canal city. Yeah, you can even make a canal through Lake Retba. That would be fun, I suppose. Yeah. Small continent. Pretty nice. If I'm going to be doing a gameplay, it's probably going to be on a small continent's map. Alright. Just to finish up this video, I'm just going to... Start up a small continents map with, or rather, on huge, just so you get an idea of how it is. Yep, this is small continents on huge. Exactly what you would expect. Some bigger continents and a lot more land masses. That's it. Well, it is kind of cool. And canals actually do seem pretty vital in some areas. You can put a canal city here and here. That would be cool. Yeah, if you want to be working with canals, small continents is probably the way to go. Because if continents are smaller, it's more likely that they're going to have some narrow points. Meaning that canals are actually useful. And actually plausible to plop down. You see here... Excellent canal locations. Because you can't circumnavigate this to the north, nor the south. Well, scratch that. You can, but canal location still pretty good right there. I like it. Yeah, small continents is definitely the way to go. Especially when you have some larger land masses. Because then you have all these sieves fighting on these continents. And then they can kind of fight to try to colonize some other regions. That is cool. 
All right, I don't think there's much else to say. Final verdict. Seven Cs is garbage, especially if you want to use canals. And small continents is pretty cool, especially if you want to use canals. Well, that's that. If I ever make a gameplay video, it's probably going to be on small continents. So, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.